practice. One of the biggest problems we have as veterinarians is that the animal is too fractious or too stressed for us to do a proper examination. Now, Elizabeth, do you have any top tips or techniques that could help uh, pet relax that you can use before you come to the vet and after you get to the vet? I can. Um, basically, Lily is adapting to our energy. She's adapting to the environment. So the more relaxed we are, the more relaxed pets will be because they feed off our energy. Excellent. Always allow yourself plenty of time to get to the vets, to find a parking space, first of all. But also what you can do before you go is turn off the mobile phone, take some big deep breaths, let go, and just connect from your heart centre to your pet. And just placing your hand, gently massage and stroking very, very slowly. The faster you go, the more your animal will be agitated. Yes. And so we want these really long, slow strokes. Now with my left hand, I'm just placing my left hand here over the pelvic girdle and um, the back of the legs here. And I'm just pulsating my calm energy down through my body, down through to Lily. And we can assure you she has not been sedated. This is just pure relaxation. Yes, and the number of times I've seen in practice that agitated and stressed clients have stressed pets. So I, I think this is a wonderful, wonderful technique that they could use to de-stress themselves and the pet, not only at the vets, but anywhere. Well, actually, um, in our book, You Can Heal Your Pet, um, I've got a whole section on mindful meditation for pet guardians to help them chill out with their beautiful pets. Yes, it's a very important chapter. Don't forget to read it.